but this is not gonna be like a full-on here's my unboxing i'll probably include some vlog footage because i'm at home and it's all i've been doing let's start with me just saying i'm never shopping with dior ever again whether it's in store or via the delivery actually in this video i will let you guys know about that more in detail because dior actually offer home delivery now and I just recently learned Hermes now do, so woo! The Dior home delivery service, they offer it to their clients, although I do have a current pending order. I'm contemplating cancelling it, but we'll go into more detail about that in a bit. But first, I just want to show you an exciting delivery I got yesterday. Obviously, we're at home, we're bored, we want to be comfortable. And I was super lucky to get my hands on a few pieces from this really amazing brand that is sustainable and it's eco-friendly and they're giving for every one t-shirt or item of clothing sold they actually give to doctors without borders and i think it's an amazing initiative that has started so i set an alarm at 6 p.m on the website like hello and i couldn't get everything i wanted even though i already had everything like tabs open sizes saved i was like yes i'm gonna get it i was lucky because now they're on pre-order and they're taking up to six weeks to order stuff whereas before they were just able to like ship out the stock that they had remaining so first item i got from pangaya it is definitely pangaya i just watched that youtube video to make sure this is a pair of the indigo blue sweatpants they're a lot brighter in person than i saw on the website so i was a little disappointed about that i was expecting them to be like a dusty baby blue unless they gave me the wrong color i'm pretty sure they gave me the right color like this was the dusty baby blue but like it's a lot brighter than what it showed on the website so a little tiny bit disappointed about that because this is supposed to match some like pastel kind of vibes i was going for but now it's not but i wore them the entire day yesterday i put them on didn't want to take them off then i ordered the purple i managed to get the full purple tracksuit which i was really pleased about the packaging is super cute they come in like these plastic bags which i believe are actually biodegradable Oh, so these are not plastic. They are, I believe, biodegradable, which is great. Love sustainability when it comes to stuff like that. No unnecessary packaging and God knows what. So this is the extra small. Honestly, on the website, they look a lot nicer than what they actually are. I'm slightly disappointed. I mean, of course, it's like 55% is it recycled. It's 45% recycled cotton, 55% organic cotton. And I, to be honest, I was expecting better quality. I'm all for sustainability and like saving the planet. But like, I think it's just a really good marketing strategy that they have because like, I was like, yes, wow, this purple looks insane. I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna look so cute. First of all, like extra small is massive. I'm not gonna complain about that. But like, it's just, it's not itchy. It's just like, it's, you know, when you wash a sweatshirt, which is like fluffy on the inside too much. That's what it becomes. It's like an, I feel like I just bought secondhand sweatpants and sweatshirts. Maybe I'm just not used to this like eco-friendly thing. Kudos to them, great initiative, great business idea and plan. I love what they're doing, helping save the world. Great, great thing to do. I'm a bit iffy when it comes to the quality now. Even though, of course I'm at home and like they're supposed to be comfortable and they are recycled. So obviously the quality isn't gonna be like, whoa baby cashmere it's um the best way to describe it is like wearing old sweatpants which just look new but actually no they don't actually look new and the colors are really like just so off anyways then i got this black sweatshirt okay at least this is like black black This is slightly smaller than the Cotton Citizen one that I got. And this says, this sweatshirt is made from a recycled and organic mix. In fact, I think there's the same writing on the sweatpants. No. These track pants are colored with natural dyes made from plants, fruits, and vegetables. The fabric is made from recycled and organic cotton mix. Wow. So organic dye, love that. So amazing. Actually, the sweatshirt quality is a lot better. The inside is like fluffy. Whereas the inside of these pants and like this stuff, it's it's like fluffy but like gross. 
all in all very pleased with this this is an extra small as well on the back they have like very subtle logo details branding love that we love a little small intricate branding not like bold in your face like i want everyone to know what i'm wearing but if you know about the brand it's like a if you know you know kind of thing guys that's my favorite phrase but like if you know you know then i got a little tiny bit from matches matches delivery super fast again i want to just say delivery with pengaya stuff it wasn't really long although they do promise like i think a few days it did take up to like 10 days precisely to get here which is understandable in the current situation but if like matches and stuff are delivering in a few days then i think everyone needs to short sort this out so this is my matches order it was packed by maria thank you maria for packing my little package nothing amazing just something literally three things on the topic of loungewear and comfort clothing i absolutely live for my redone vests i love these I love their bodysuits, I love their vests, I love their t-shirts, I think the quality is amazing. The fit and the colours don't fade and the fit doesn't like expand too much. You can like rewash these and they go back to their natural size. I think that's amazing. I absolutely love redone stuff and I love the cuts. So yeah, love those. Those are great if you guys are looking for like good quality basics. Honestly, one thing I really think people should invest in is basics and quality everyday clothes it doesn't mean you go out and buy like a pair of jeans for like ten thousand pounds no just buy good fitting quality stuff because then you don't have to keep repurchasing it every so often i think i got about 30 percent off matches and i love how online retailers now are doing sales you've also got like resellers for luxury fashion which are like severely suffering but like it's like the best time to buy from them because in their heads no one is shopping and realistically not a lot of people are spending on unnecessary things like luxury fashion where there's me who's just like trying to take advantage of this look apparently i butchered the brand name last time so i'm just not gonna say it. i'm just gonna show you guys i'm not french okay <laughs> i love my last shirt so much i got the white one um like the drapey one. I love this. I thought it was super cute just to wear with a cute little bralette underneath. I was going to get the Dior white one because I thought that would look quite cute underneath. But now we're having situations with Dior, which leads me on to my next unboxing, which is Dior. So you guys probably have already seen the Instagram picture if you're following me on Instagram. So I basically picked up this little piece for like £700. Why? I don't know. I mean... Honestly, six, seven hundred pounds on this is just stupid, but I am obviously stupid. I'm just going to let you guys see the vlog of that so I can give you a little update and background of what happened with my initial delivery. So today I'm going to be receiving an order that I placed with Dior. This is the first company, well, second, but technically first company I've been dealing with since the COVID-19 lockdown situation in Dubai, who are offering home delivery service. Dior does not have an e-commerce website for the UAE, which is unfortunate. However, they are offering their clients home delivery. When my sales associate basically messaged me, she's like, hi, I hope you're well. Just wanna let you know we're offering home delivery in case there's anything you want. I was like, wow, great, thank you. Can you send me any new items you have? No, she didn't. She couldn't because she doesn't have access to the stores or the warehouse because obviously they're in lockdown still and she's just the middleman for the transaction basically. She said, just go on the website, let me know what you want and I'll place the orders for you. So my sister and I both placed orders for things that we wanted and it's kind of come in like drips and drabs. I mean, it's not been great, nor has the service to be honest. Chanel's service is definitely a lot better potentially I need to change my sales associate so i should be receiving a deal order today i mean how necessary is it to be purchasing something deal within this current situation not very it's not a need if you guys are wondering what the hell is going on with my hair i attempted a double braid with a ponytail this is literally how i would go to school it's my greasy hair day so let's be forgiving i'm honestly trying to not wash my hair once every other day because of the treatment my hair gets so oily at the roots so fast and apparently if you get your hair used to not washing it so frequently it gets better so that's what i'm trying to do and it's 
it's just not great. I'm not really loving it, to be honest. Is my shoes in there? Oh, okay. You understand? You have pit on it for Yeah. Thank you, bye. There was a bit of confusion at the door. It was a bit stressful. Just a tiny bit stressful. I gave me someone else's order. Then I was like, no, this is my order. They didn't know how many items were in the bag. They unpacked the bag. They were like, oh, they um, opened the boxes. And I was like, oh, for God's sake, like, you should know whose house you're going to, what you're supposed to be doing. With Chanel, this doesn't happen. Or maybe it's because I haven't shopped enough at Dior that they don't respect me enough. It's like that with brands. It's not like a better than you because I buy more. It's more of a, that's how they work. Realistically, in Dubai, that's how I've seen it work. The more you spend with a brand, the better they treat you. It's just pathetic, really, but I guess it makes sense. So that was that. The initial delivery of two items was a bit complicated. I'm more of a Chanel girl. I spend a lot of money at Chanel. I don't spend as much money as Dior, although recently I bought quite a few things from Dior. You'd think the service you'd get in exchange for spending that kind of money you would be good, but no, 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 no. <gasps> no. So I placed my order for that one top and then I was like, actually, let me take advantage of this hungry human. I was like, hi. Do you by any chance have access to the Dior Jordans? Because I really want them. I want to buy a few pairs. Obviously my friends want them as well. Even though we all have connections, we're literally all trying to see who can get the pairs first. Actually, let me just remind myself of what he said because I'm just shocked. And this is kind of what made me realize I don't want to ever buy from Dior ever again. So specific, I think for supposed clients, you know? So we'll have them only a few, few, few items. Okay, so he said, I will let you know when we get them because I'm not too sure. But they're only going to be getting a few pieces because it's for super, super elite clients. Well, thank you for the insult and thank you for not helping me at all. I was kind of insulted at the fact that he said... It's, it's only for the super, super elite clients. Like, you don't say that kind of stuff to someone who's actually a buyer at your store. Like... Yes, I'm not a super elite client at Dior. I'm not mad about it. I don't care. But he's basically telling me I'm not spending enough money to be a super elite client. Therefore, I do not have access to any of the elite benefits. So yeah, that, that pissed me off. And that has made me realize I don't ever want to shop at Dior. I'm just going to stay at Harrods and not go down to Christian Dior. So see ya. We're over that. Look, I'm not bashing the brand. <laughs> I'm just annoyed. I just didn't appreciate the way I was treated and I thought it was very unfair and I thought it was very unprofessional and I just, it made me not want to shop there ever again. So this morning I'm gonna start the day by unboxing some little packages. This I believe is some skincare I just ordered. Wow, what a lovely large box for literally just two small things. So I'm really excited to try out some Kiehl's products. I've heard that they are non-comedogenic and will be amazing for my skin because I have super sensitive skin. So I'm really excited to try these out. I do have another Kiehl's face wash but that's just made me really dry and my skin is super dry right now so I'm hoping this will help. And then this is from a brand I discovered on Instagram. I was following the girl because I really loved her aesthetic and her style and, and she launched her own hair oil and this is what you basically get in the package. This is the packaging which I am obsessed with. I think it's absolutely unreal. Everything comes so nicely packaged and for a small startup brand I really do appreciate little details like that. Okay then I also got some other stuff. What is this? Where is this from? Okay, this is Revolve. So, I'm trying out the Cos RX. Is that how you say it? Cos RX? <laughs> the Cos RX BHA Blackhead Power Liquid. Apparently, that's really good. So, I'm going to use it on my nose. I finally picked up some face halos. I feel like these will be really game changing to my skincare routine. I got some. What brand is this? Beyond Yoga Leggings. And of course, bike shorts, couldn't live without them. And I'm pretty sure I got some other stuff as well. But that's been delayed and will come later. I actually bought a lot of things and I've just been waiting for them. So Revolt stuff also comes in like, drips and drabs. Not great. Okay, I think this is going to be the last segment of my unboxing video for now. Without further ado, today I'm unboxing one of the most exciting orders. 
these are orders that I truly look forward to opening because there are items that I genuinely love to death. Shoes. I absolutely live for shoes because shoes are something you invest in and can wear repeatedly without feeling bad about continuously wearing. And recently, I'm sure you guys have noticed, I've stopped buying as many heels and I tend to purchase more flats. This, of course, is a pair of flats because I choose comfort over pain during the day. And this, wow, if you're looking for a comfortable, elegant pair of footwear. Let me reintroduce you to Laura Piana. Guys, I just love Laura Piana so much. And these are actually not a custom order. I got these from my Teresa. They actually took about a week to deliver, which was not awful, but matches took about three days. Hats off to you, matches. I was actually going to order these custom because I do really love this colour. Well, I, I'm hoping it's the colour that I love. And I feel like the custom pairs, they just last longer because they're just hand stitched and they're just lovingly made whereas the ones that they show in the shops are just like kind of just like i feel like they're mass produced because the quality of the leather isn't as good as the quality of the custom ones trust me on this the custom ones which you wait four to eight weeks for are definitely a lot better quality than the ones you can just pick up in the shops which is why i don't tend to go to the shops and really pick them up but i was hesitant about this Hopefully, this will be good quality, and hopefully this is a colour. Please, please, can it be sandstone? <gasps> it's sandstone! Just checking. Obviously, the colour... <laughs> The colour, actually, um, it changes over time because, obviously, it is, I think, goat skin? I don't know. I really don't know. But these are the open walks. I have summer charm walks and knees. Absolutely love them. I have the open walks in like the caviar, which is like a, a dark navy blackish blue. I do believe they've come out with a black in stores now. Before you could only custom order those, but to be honest, I haven't actually been to the stores in a very long time, so I don't really know. I genuinely live in these. These a pair of leggings, some cute little bike shorts. Sweatpants, cashmere sweatpants. Ooh, love that. These are the best shoes in the whole world. And if you're looking, like I said, for a comfortable, not affordable, but durable, elegant pair of shoes, these are the ones. They are honestly the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn in my entire life. And I don't know where I was without these. I honestly do not know what my life was like without these shoes. They're just honestly amazing. They just go with everything. In fact, I'd wear these with this awful tracksuit and I feel like that would be a complete vibe. Gonna conclude this video here. Anything that I mentioned that is available online now, I will link in the description box below as per usual. Anything that I'm wearing, I will also try and link if it's new or available online. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button as well as tap that bell to get notified every time I upload. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.